races are richer in tradition, more steeped in nostalgia than this old horseshoe on the banks of the Olentangy, the home of the Ohio State Buckeyes in the scarlet and gray have this place rocking already. And while today is the final home game of the season for one team, it is more importantly a celebration, Senior Day, as we'll see the number 22 team in the country, the Nebraska Cornhuskers, taking on the number one team in the land, the Ohio State Buckeyes. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's... Running back searching for a hole. Finds enough room to get three out to the 34. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. Looking for a gap. It's Whitehead. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. Looking for a man, it's Rayola. Fires a bullet, now oh, it's picked off. Bringing it back, the 30. Oh, how did you make that move? And a big return after the INT sets up the offense for this possession. Not the start this kid was looking for. Very first pass of the day gets picked off. This is a defense that's got a lot of ball hawks on the back end, and he's got to be real careful with his eyes, not telegraph throws like he did right there. He's going to have to settle in. The gift to the back. Out across the 30, Mark down at the 35 after the 10-yard gain. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. He's looking to throw it. It's incomplete, and trust me, you will not see that very often from this guy at second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Intercepted. Looking for more room. He'll finally go out of bounds, but he was showing off all the skills after that interception. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision. motion from the offense trying to get the edge with a quick touch pass he is stopped behind the line of scrimmage they'll lose yards on that one 
Great heads up awareness. saw the receiver get the ball he shot downhill and made a nice tackle they're looking for an advantage in the running game to the right and they'll bring him down after a short pickup i like feeding my guy i like getting my running back touches feeding him the ball so he can break some of those big runs but i'm also okay with these little ones set the tone stay balanced and it's picked off for the third time today taking it the other way inside the 10 Touchdown, Buckeyes! The defense puts six on the board with a big-time interception return. They've got the lead in trying to put this one in a hammerlock here in Week 10. And in the free... He'll keep it himself. Pass the sticks and still on his feet. Really nice pickup there as they have it out to the 44 with the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. The give to the back. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. You know what I really like about games like this at this point in the season? You find out who you are. You find out whether you're going to stay in the race. And who can step up and handle the challenge, right? This is easily one of the toughest games to date for both of these programs coming into this one. So there's a lot of eyeballs, David, on this game to find out who's mentally and emotionally the toughest. Yeah, and we're going to point to this game as we get later in the year and big decisions are made. You've got a top 25 win. You beat them in the middle of the season, X, Y, and Z. So these are big for the resume. These two guys, just on the same wavelength, they make clutch connections all the time. And that's practice, man. That's all summer. That's all spring. Just so many hundreds and hundreds and thousands of balls where you know exactly when that guy's going to break. You know he's a stud. You're going to feed him, especially on these third down situations. And they weren't able to make the connection. They were looking for an explosive play. Now on second down. to the ground with the back. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. This first half of offense won't go on the highlight reel so far. But starting to get things moving, it's first and 10. Unloads to the wide out. Caught over the middle, it's Hall. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. Obliterates him still on the move. And he strides his way in. Quick touch pass to the receiver. They'll get him on the ground at the 46, and it'll be a first down. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. Looking for a man, it's Rayola. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Yeah, and you don't see very many quarterback hits on screens. You know, the offense wants to bluff real quick and make it look like pass, and the quarterback's supposed to pop up, look like pass, and quickly get rid of it. You could tell timing all wrong. It was all jacked up, and that play went absolutely nowhere. When you're going to run a comeback route, you've got to sell like you're going deep, and that was a great job there by the receiver, really making that corner think he was running 
deep down the field. So he got the corner to turn his hips, turn his shoulders, and then they're... And it is another interception. Just a terrible struggle for this quarterback. He'll try to take it back. Touchdown, Ohio State. And this defense coming up with points of their own. What an interception return. Look, I know it's only the second quarter, but we're starting to see a pretty significant gap develop between these two teams right now. No doubt. When your defense is scoring, your offense is scoring, good things happening for your ball club. This defense on point, reading their scouting report, making big plays. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Got his man in the middle. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. And the Huskers racing to the line in the hurry up. On second down, he'll let it fly. Quickly complete. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Now on first down for this offense. Timeout, Nebraska. He wants to throw. Catch open down the middle. Still on his feet at the 45. And they do a really good job. Not as easy as it looks to get those blocks. And he picks up the first down. The Cornhuskers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Looking to throw it again. He's got his man. That completion leaves us with second and medium. Looking to pass. It's Rayola. Throws to the wideout. He's got an open man. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. It's first down from the 11. He's going to pass. Nearly another interception. It'll be second down. Are we sure... what color jersey his receivers are wearing. Threw a pick on the last drive and almost threw another one. Just, just temporarily confused. No big deal. Hey, short memory. Reels it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Husker. Man, nice job getting the passing game going. This, this is big, man. Going to the half. And listen, I know you're trailing, but building some momentum. Maybe this second half we can keep airing the football out, cutting into this deficit, and who knows what the heck will happen. First play from scrimmage, and they'll keep it on the ground. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good speed. He'll try it again. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And you can tell that play went nowhere from the start. It was definitely a great play by that defender. Oh, yeah, he got in the backfield so quick, the running back had absolutely no chance. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. They'll move the chains. Good execution on third down. They've got it at the 41. Offense goes on the attack on first and 10. Gets it out quickly. He stops him at the 31, but not before. He picks up 10 yards on the play. The Huskers look to keep this drive humming. Scanning the field. It's Rayola. Right down the middle. Through his hands and incomplete. He normally makes that catch every time. It's second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Dialing up a second down pass play. Unleashes one deep. And good coverage and better hands on that shot to the end zone. If every journey begins with a step, this offense needs to step into a third down conversion and then try to turn it into some score. 
And his fifth interception of the game, a miracle they haven't pulled him yet. And they capitalized not only on the pick, but the great return to give the offense tremendous field position. And Quarterback, quick pass to the receiver. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse. Losing yardage on that play. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. They'll leave it with him. Into a mass of giant bodies. We'll call it a one-yard gain to the 24. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the right. And the third down pass is incomplete. Going up top on first down. Finds his man. It's Whitehead. Always quick to make the move, and he's out to the 39. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? You've got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. You're going to win this game. Almost had the completion. Just missed it. Couldn't find his man last time. Now they'll have to convert third and four. Back to throw. It's Rayola. Complete downfield. Defense caught out of position, and they get him down finally at the 38. Finally, some signs of life from this offense, which has done nothing in the second half. It's first and 10. And he drops it just a little too slippery in the hand. This offense has a second down play. After the incompletion, they go back up top. And it just squirted through his hands. He wanted to take off and got too anxious. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. A strike downfield. They've got it just outside the red zone. They'll move the chains. It's at the 21. And the Huskers will snap it on first and 10. Defense trying to keep this offense from getting a line on who to block. They make the stop after a pickup of three. Balls at the 18. Got three on first down at second and seven. Trying the run. It's Whitehead. Pulled down after a pickup of five. A statement run in the red zone to the 13. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. To the end zone. And it's picked off. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. And as a defensive lineman late in the game, man, when you know it's past, you're pinning. To the air on first down. And that ball is picked off. Got some room to run. Touchdown, Buckeyes! How about that D coming up with a play like that? They give themselves just a little more cushion as they close in on extending this winning run. Dude, this, you didn't think it could... and the defense just continues to pour it on, gets the pick, makes its way all the way to the end zone. Looking to go up top on first down. Got it in the middle, it's Hall. 
And he was loose and not stopped until he gets to the 47-yard line. Here comes the offense on first down. Used to play fake, now to throw. He's looking deep. And it's knocked away downfield, the DB getting a hand in there. And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like, they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't they haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is, this is one of those days that you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're going to show in the film room that people aren't going to like, but hopefully you can learn from it and do better next time. Maybe this will breathe a little life into this offense, which has been flatlined in the second half. Here's first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. Got a man. It's Savage. And I know this football game is over, but we got to keep fighting. We got to keep finding something, some kind of rhythm in this offense, something we can hang our hat on that we do really, really well. Listen, the intermediate passing game like this has taken over college football, short to intermediate. So if they can find some of this, it'll help their offense move forward. And this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put all the facets of defense together. Run defense, pass defense, they've been so good, man. Dialed in, you could tell. They were ready, they were fast, they were fit. And he takes it in in the end zone for a touchdown and a little. We sensed a great deal of confidence, almost a smugness from this coaching staff. And these guys on the field, it's as if they knew they were going to win. Yeah, playing with a bit of a chip on their shoulder, and I think they really felt like they had a real good game plan offensively and defensively coming into this one, David. There were some matchups on the field they thought they could exploit.